Fernando, it was a strong qualifying result for you yesterday. Fantastic result for you last year here. How good are you feeling about a repeat? Um, feeling good. I think it'll be a little bit more difficult to achieve than last year. I think even a second place is going to be more tricky, but I'm excited. I'm feeling good. It's a lovely day. Um, hopefully you can have some good racing and have a fun race. And do you feel that you are in the battle with Red Bull or is it a case of maintaining and defending? I mean, if I can get one at the start, that will be a, a lovely help. But um, it's still clear they're quite a bit quicker. I'm sure their race pace is going to be better. But, you know, we were not miles away last year and we were further off. We had, you know, our worst car last year and we were not miles off in the race. So you never know. We've not done any long running stuff. So there's a lot of unanswered questions for us to figure out today. So uh, we're going in with an open mind and um, we'll be giving it our all. And how great is it just to be here in Suzuka with all these incredible fans? It's always great. I look forward to it every year. It's my, my favorite, I wouldn't say my favorite weekend because that's Silverstone, but probably right behind that is, uh, is Suzuka here. So always great. The fans are lovely, plenty of gifts and um, yeah, it's always exciting. So uh, a pleasure and I hope we can put on a good race for them. Thank you very much. Good luck today. Hey, and Max, incredible lap yesterday to take pole position. How satisfying was it on one of the great tracks on the Formula One calendar? Yeah, it's, it's always, you know, amazing to, uh, to drive around here, especially in qualifying, you know, the car really comes alive. Um, so, uh, yeah, looking forward to today now. It's good weather today, a bit more sunny. So, uh, yeah, hopefully we can, uh, yeah, make it a positive result for, for the whole team. You've got your teammate alongside you, you've got a McLaren and a Ferrari behind you. It feels like the gap shut a little bit. How are you feeling about keeping them all behind today? 
Yeah, I think um, you know we made a few changes to the car before qualifying that hopefully will help a bit for for today, and then normally we should we, we should look a bit better. Um, so yeah, I'm excited. You know, it's always um, a demanding track for for tire wear and and stuff. So um, yeah, hopefully we did the right thing. And a huge support here for Red Bull, for Honda. What is the crowd like for you when you're experiencing this kind of support? Yeah, it's always super nice to be here in Japan. You know, they're always super friendly, uh, very supportive to, towards us. So, uh, yeah, hopefully uh, we can give them a great race. Great stuff. Best of luck today, Max. Thank you. Checo, an incredible lap in qualifying yesterday. It feels like you've been so comfortable and confident with the car. You must be excited to get behind the wheel of it when it's operating at that level. Yeah, definitely. The, the confidence is, is high at the moment and i looking forward for, for the race. You know, I think uh, our pace didn't look very promising in FP3 in the long runs, but um, we are in a great position, you know, to execute a, a great race. And the, the target for today is really to get that one too for the team. You know, for, for Honda, for the Japanese fans, will be a great result. Just a fraction of pole yesterday. You've got a McLaren and a Ferrari behind you. Is your focus, though, on front and kind of not worrying about them and focusing on maybe Max and taking the fight to him? Yeah, definitely. I think we got a good chance today. We will definitely try to go for it. And, um, yeah, hopefully we, we get a good start today. Great stuff. So have fun today, Cheko. Thanks very much. Daniel, I know you weren't looking too happy yesterday after quali, but are you looking at a new day today? Are things looking better? Because it looks like you're at one with the car. It looks like you're the best place you've been all season. Is this the day that things start to finally turn around? Yeah, I mean, I, I think I was, I was just, the part I was unhappy about was obviously missing out by just a, a, obviously a very small margin. But I think, yeah, in general, it was, it was a better day. It was, it was positive. Uh, I think also, yeah, just looking ahead to the race, it's, even though I miss FP1, not many guys have done, you know, proper long runs this weekend because FP2 was obviously hindered. So it's probably going to be a bit of a wait and see for all of us. So I think, yeah, it puts us in a good position, uh, close to the points. So uh, I'm sure we can uh, end in the points today. That's the plan. This must be a really fun track to drive when the car is kind of operating at the level you want it to be and that you feel really comfortable. Is that really what it's feeling like a little bit closer to it now? Definitely got there, you know, in qualifying, I, I was certainly more, more comfortable with it. And it's such a cool track, you know, you, yeah, like where we are now, first sector, it's, yeah, it's fun. You know, you, uh, you always feel like you can go more and more and it kind of, yeah, it sucks you in because it's so fun and you really feel the car and the load and, you know, left, right, left, right. Um, it's, it's a joy to drive around the hill. Great stuff. Good luck today, Daniel. Thank you. Yuki, you've been quick all weekend long. You've delighted the crowd out here. Just how satisfied are you with what the weekend's turned out to be so far? Are we speaking in English or Japanese? Uh, let's do some English to start with, and then we'll go to Japanese, if that's cool. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, amazing for us um, as a team. You know, Daniel finished P11, and for me, P10. And, you know, we lined up very close to the point. So, yeah, very optimistic. And, you know, I felt already last two days, amount of crowds that supporting me and... The amount of energy I got was uh, definitely special. So, you know, can't wait to hit on track today. Um, definitely the points will be to target, uh, never achieved. So, you know, but I'm sure with the pace, what we have now, uh, it's very, very realistic. Just one more question in English. You look so comfortable at the car at the moment. You're operating at such a high level. What would it mean to score those points and home soil and send this crowd crazy at the end of the race? Yeah, I know it's uh, definitely one of my big wish wish list. Um, yeah, it's the last two years. I mean, last year I was able to go through Q3, but you know, didn't able to score points. And you know, the 
points is for us and especially for me is a big meaning. Um, obviously, in the future, if I can if I can get podiums or you know even the you know Grand Prix win, you know that'll be great. But I think first step we need the points and uh, yeah, top ten already. You know massive support I got yesterday when I went through Q3. You know the amount of support and the noise I heard from the grandson everywhere was um, I don't know this uh, outstanding. You know so. Hopefully I can hear more or pro more, that would be great. And uh, yeah, I think uh, we can do it, yeah. Great, so, so can I have a few words in Japanese to the fans out there today? え、今日皆さん本当に来てくれてありがとうございます。え、You maximised the potential in qualifying yesterday. So, how are you feeling looking ahead to the race today? Yeah, feeling good. Thank you. Um, I don't know. I think it's going to be a, a long race. Uh, Sunny's out for the first time on the weekend, so it's going to be. I can hear myself. There. <laughs> it's going to be warm. It's going to be, I think, tough on the tyres. A long race, and uh, hopefully we can fight out for that uh, podium. And do you think a podium is possible? Do you think it's within reach? Within reach, yes, but it requires a perfect. Uh, start a perfect strategy and i think mclaren are on our pace this weekend so uh or faster so we're gonna need to nail a, a good race if we want to get on on that podium and can we have some words in spanish please about the race si hasta ahora si un fin de semana un poco más duro para el equipo está claro que este tipo de pista no no nos va especialmente bien pero aún así yo creo que hemos hecho un un buen trabajo hasta ahora y hoy intentaremos luchar por el podio thank you very much good luck today Fernando, your best qualifying result here since 2014. That must feel pretty good. Yesterday looked mighty from you. Yeah, it was good. Good day for us. Uh, quite strong quality pace, uh, as we saw also in the first three races. And uh, Saturday is, uh, is normally quite a good day for us. Sunday, we're still struggling. Uh, so it's a, a tick that uh, we need to put in, in the box of Sundays. And uh, let's, let's try today. Very tight field, but you're up there in the mix. What are your thoughts going into today? Yeah, I think it's going to be intense and, and very close, as you said. I think uh, within two or three tenths, we have uh, like uh, six cars. So, yeah, uh, I think it will, uh, we will try to do our own, own race and uh, let's see what is the final result. But um, we, are, we are quite optimistic. And can I have some words in Spanish, please? Bueno, ha sido una, una crono bastante buena para nosotros. Se, seguimos teniendo la tendencia este año de tener buenos sábados y los domingos un poco más de problemas. A ver si los podemos solucionar hoy, que es un, un domingo, y a ver si, si somos más rápidos eh, y coger los máximos puntos para el equipo. Thank you very much. Good luck today, Fernando. Charles, it was a difficult day yesterday for you, but you've had the night to look into things, dig into the data. Have you got to the bottom of it? 
Well, it's been a difficult day, uh, and as I was saying yesterday, uh, sometimes it happens uh, during a year where everything feels good, but the time is just not there at the end of the lap, and that was the case yesterday. However, the race pace has been positive uh, with the very few laps we have done on high fuel, and uh, this gives me the hope that we can come back. Uh, but it's a difficult track to overtake on, uh, but we are, we are fast, so I hope we can, uh, we can come back. And you've got the Mercedes in front and behind. How are you approaching today? Uh, like always, try to maximize uh, the car. I think we have a bit of a stronger car in terms of race pace, so a good start will be important. Then we'll be focusing on ourselves and uh, if we can come back on the podium, which is an optimistic target. Uh, but that's what uh, we'll be aiming for. And can we have some words in French, please? Oui, ça a été un week-end compliqué jusqu'à maintenant. C'est vrai qu'on n'a pas eu la, la qualif euh, qu'on souhaitait, mais euh, en partant 8, on va essayer de revenir sur le podium. C'est sûr que c'est assez optimiste euh, comme, comme target, mais c'est ce qu'il faut qu'on fasse. On a une bonne course en course, c'est, on a une bonne voiture en course. Et, euh, et voilà, c'est une piste où c'est pas facile de doubler, mais on va tout faire pour, pour revenir en top 3. Thank you very much. Good luck. George, P9 start for today. How are you approaching the race ahead? Yeah, we're going to be going for it as every every Sunday, see what we can achieve. I think a lot of opportunity, many different strategies uh, on the cards for all the drivers. So let's see what we can do. Last year, of course, you uh, tried an alternative strategy. Is that something that you are actively looking into? I know you're not going to give it all away, but is rolling the dice like that again an option? No, I don't think it's about rolling the dice. I think it's about um, the risk reward. And I think it's... It doesn't take a lot to shift um, the strategy to really work for, let's say, a one-stop or a two-stop to be clearly the, the favorable one. So I think we're going to have to be really uh, adaptive after the first sort of 10 laps, seeing how the cars feel and how the tyres are reacting in the slightly hotter conditions today and go from there. Fantastic. Good luck today, George. Thank you very much. <laughs> Lewis, incredible fans as always here. What can they expect to see from you today? Uh, I think it's going to be, I mean, it's a beautiful day here, isn't it? Um, we've got a great crowd as we always do here. I'm really hoping that we, we have a, a better race car than we do in qualifying. We'll find out when we get out there, but um, we're not in the worst position to start. And I think it's just going to be about being methodical and just maximizing in every stint, pit stops and strategy is going to be key. And you've sounded more positive this weekend in general towards how the car is feeling. Has that given you an extra boost of encouragement that you can really make up some good positions today and bring something good home? Um, yeah, I mean, I've generally enjoyed driving the car a lot more this weekend. Um, we, we know where our weaknesses are, and um, I, I do hope that our race pace is a little bit better than it has uh, been in qualifying, for example. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm hoping to see the distance of today. Obviously, off straight, it wasn't um, the greatest end result for both sides. So we need to get some good points today. So that's the goal. Fantastic. Good luck today. Thank you, Lewis. Oscar, a good qualifying for you yesterday, a solid result last year here. What is possible today? Um, we'll, we'll have to wait and see. I think, um, yeah, it wasn't, wasn't my best qualifying, to be honest, yesterday. I think 
um, had some time on the table, unfortunately. So um, try and make up for it today. I think we've got a quick car underneath us, and um, yeah, hopefully we can make up a couple of spots or even more. Would be good. And this is a track that suits your car. You've got Carlos and Fernando ahead of you. Do you think you have it any to make it onto that podium? Is that the target here? Uh, I think a podium will be optimistic, definitely. I think from where I'm starting, um, you know, we've got to make up a, a lot of ground to get there. And um, But we'll see what we can do. I think um, we're definitely in with the shout of with, with all the cars around us. And, um, yeah, hopefully we can, we can make some progress forwards. Fantastic. Good luck today. Thank you very much. Thank you. Like when I hear you guys speak, it's just like 